How about this? Our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher, adding author to the resume, Jacob. Yeah, so Eric wrote his first ever book about storms that New England has weathered over the years. It's available now, and he sat down with our own Paula Eben to share more. Joining me to talk about his new book, Mighty Storms of New England, is our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an interesting project. Who's it for? So there's a lot of closet meteorologists in New England. And what do I mean by that? It's you know, the people who've always been fascinated. There's a lot of people who went to college or thought to go to college mm -hmm. about meteorology. And then it just, for whatever reason, they got down a different path. Right. But they've always been big into storms. They send us reports on the news on BZ. And so they just want to look back and learn more about some of these yeah. really fascinating events. Or you're like me and you just want to look back and say, oh, I remember that. Uh, blizzard of 78 comes to mind. Chapter one. Or the, the, uh, the snowstorm in 2015 when we had 100 inches of now, so let's talk about some of the storms. You really uh, cover the big blockbuster decade of the 50s. 50s were huge for New England storms yep. and big for forecasting, too. Mm -hmm. So there's some big developments that came out of it. 53, the Worcester tornado was in there. That right. is uh, the costliest tornado that we've ever had in New England in terms of just loss of life. Um, and it stayed for a long time. And one of the deadliest storms in U.S. history. And if you have a top 10 deadliest storm in Massachusetts for a tornado, that is very That's rare. big. Then Hurricane Carol. Carol in 54. Mm -hmm. That took down the BZ transmitter, actually, in our wow. parking lots during it. And um, that was the last big Cat 3 hurricane that we yeah. had. And the storm that really defined a generation for small toddler children <laughs> like myself, the blizzard of 78. I mean, it left an indelible emotional mark. Yes, so that is definitely in there as one of the biggest snowstorms yeah. in the region. And, uh, of course, the bean pot is mentioned in there That's as well. Right. Some of the storm stories. What I try to do is kind of intermingle some of the meteorology, mm -hmm. what led up to a storm, how it occurred, and then some of the storm stories. So you get a little bit of both. Right. Let's talk about the ice storm of 08 and then that snow blitz in 2015. Mm -hmm. So the, I put together a couple of ice storms for mm -hmm. one chapter. The 2008 ice storm, which of course had two-week power outages here. Merrimack Valley was really badly hit, as well as the Berkshires. Yeah. And then 1998, so that was the huge ice storm, more toward northern New England, Champlain Valley in Vermont, and then and Quebec and right. into Canada. Huge power outages. And then Tropical Storm Irene in 2011, just 10 years ago. Yeah, and that was another dual chapter. So yeah. I was looking at floods and Vermont floods in particular. So Irene was tremendous in wow. our area, but also 1927 had huge flooding and they kind of rivaled each other. Huh. So you see repetition in storms over the centuries. Right, which now we forget about that. What surprised you in your research? To me, the most interesting thing was that a lot of the big storms led to either an organizational or a societal change. Mm -hmm. So after the Worcester tornado, we had the big rollout of Doppler radar. Yeah. Think about how important that was and the development of the Severe Storms Laboratory, which now is in charge of all of our severe forecasting. Mm -hmm. um, you talk about Carroll, that led to the formation of the Hurricane Center. The uh, 1888 blizzard led to the formation of subways in Boston and New York. Incredible. They started developing them right afterwards. So big events lead to big change. And we continue to learn. So pick up this holiday season, Mighty Storms of New England by Eric Fisher. Proud of you. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Hope it's on a few Christmas and Hanukkah lists, and I hope <laughs> I don't put anyone to sleep and everyone enjoys. Thanks.